Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Jones Jones, and I am back with another video for you. Yeah, head top. Do, 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 do. Today, believe it or not, man, I've been collecting sneakers for a very, very long time, and it's actually a website that's known as popular, but I've never used it before. Now, I really don't have any reason behind me not using it before. I just never really used it before. But since I bought the cause fours, well, I traded my cause fours. If you guys haven't seen that video, what's up now? I basically traded like a bunch of sneakers in my collection that I was no longer wearing because I wanted to get a pair of Air Jordan 4 cause. And the Air Jordan 4 cause was used and I got a great deal because they were used. And I'm like, well, damn. If I can get great deals like this that's used because as I say in all my videos, unlike a lot of sneaker heads, I actually wear everything I have. So if it's in my collection, I've worn it. So with that being said, I don't mind buying shoes that's lightly worn because I plan to wear them anyway. Now, I know a lot of people are against buying worn shoes. It's not, I mean, it is what it is to me. Like, I don't really mind. Of course, I'm not about her buying beaters, but if you worn it once or twice and now that makes the price go down $400, $500, I'll buy it. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to wear it too. I don't really care that I wasn't the first one to wear it. So as you guys know, StockX only sells DS sneakers. StockX has good deals. They have good prices. I'm not getting paid from StockX or I'm not getting paid for GOAT. But I did buy a sneaker on GOAT. This is my first ever GOAT purchased. I've had things bought from me for like family and friends have bought me things through GOAT. But I've never actually purchased anything with my own bread, if that makes sense. This is my first ever package from GOAT, man, and uh, I guess I'm gonna just unbox this shoe and pretty much just tell y'all my experience doing like the whole thing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about my new pickup. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And of course, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. This is the year of 100K. I'm trying to make that happen, man. It's only March, we have 72K. We got a ways to go, but I believe it's definitely possible if y'all go ahead and smash the like button. Shout out to Body Armor one time for the one time. If y'all don't follow me on Instagram, Body Armor just sent your boy some body armor what is this this is the body armor blitz plus caffeine electrolyte now i'm gonna be honest i have not tried this flavor yet that they sent me but before they was even sending me stuff i've been on the body armor wave okay we got the fruit punch over here you know what i'm saying we also got the tropical punch over here this one is pretty good my favorite though is that orange mango and the blueberry blitz and that's the reason why they're no longer in here you feel me they're not hold on i'm gonna need free I don't know, I got problems, bro. Now, today I got to do the podcast with Holla and my boy Mike. So, if you guys don't know, we do a podcast. It airs every Thursday, which is called Shaking My Head Podcast. I want to knock this video out before everybody comes through because we literally do the podcast right here. You know what I'm saying? The couch, the Jordan, what do you want to call this? Like a portrait, the Jordan Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Like one of my favorite pieces right there. So, let's head back to the studio. Ah, all right. So, let's get into it, man. I'm going to give y'all... My overall breakdown on my entire experience when I bought anything from GoApp. I'm going to tell you all how shipping went, how the communication went, and if it was easy to buy or not. So if anybody hasn't bought anything from Go, this should help you out in the long run. But I ain't going to make y'all wait to see what sneaker I picked up. And honestly, I feel like I've been waiting long enough myself because I missed this package. It actually came yesterday. But since I was out at the gym, I wasn't here when they dropped it off. So I had to wait an additional day. And any of my sneakerheads out there already know, I need mine on time, you know what I'm saying? I need mine ASAP, so I, I need these. First thing first, as I told you guys, remember, I bought these used. So, GOAT gives you options to buy them used or buy them DS. I chose to buy these used because I was going to wear them, and they did not come with the box. So, they do legit check, just like StockX. I will tell you the whole thing, but I do want to put that out before I bring out the shoes because I forgot they did not come in a box. But, here is my pickup, and it comes with the GOAT certified ticket, but more importantly, BOW! Look at that. This is the Nike Dunk SB Crawfish one of my grails, believe it or not. And I know that word gets tossed around a lot. Some of y'all get mad at me because y'all don't think that these shoes are my grails just because they're not your grails. I've been loving dunks for a while now. And this dunk came out a while ago. A lot of people don't even know what these are. And I know the dunk hype is getting crazy right now. And I honestly think that they're ruining it. If you're asking me my personal opinion, I really think that Nike is, is kind of letting me down with the dunks because I think they're doing the same thing they did with a shoe that was once my favorite sneaker. And that's the phone posit. Like the phone posit was like my favorite shoe. When Nike started coming out with all these crazy colorways and killing it, it really hurt. It really hurt, man. And I mean, honestly, I can see them doing the same thing with the dunks now. It's like four or five pair of dunks coming out each month. I really want y'all opinion on that, though. Like, let me know if I'm the only one tripping. Do y'all think that Nike is really overdoing the dunks? I'm going to buy them regardless. I'd be lying. But 
Calm down, bro. Calm down. Yeah, man, here we have it. This is the Nike Dunk Crawfish. As y'all can see, man, the condition on this shoe. Look at the toe box, bro. The condition on this shoe is amazing. Amazing. I'm going to tell you the price I paid for it, and I'm going to tell you all the details about everything that I went through when it came for buying this shoe. But I just want to show you all the quality of the shoe before all of my guys that say they hate buying used sneakers get in the comments because... This shoe doesn't even look used. It doesn't look used at all. So let's get into it. First off, I went on the Go app. Very simple. I typed in the sneaker that I wanted, which was the Nike Dunk SB Crawfish. Now, the retail price for this shoe, of course, is like $100, maybe $120. I'm not sure on that. It came out a while ago. But the resale, this shoe, dead stock, is going for $650 in my size. Okay, so at size 12, this shoe goes for $650. Yeah, yeah, we're going for $650. I was able to buy this shoe worn, and as y'all can see, it's very lightly worn. It's not worn crazy. Wow. <laughs> I just want to show you. I haven't showed the bottoms yet. I don't want y'all to think I got anything to hide. This is worn lightly as possible in my size. You feel me? And I got these for like $320. So literally, I paid less than half. I paid less than half of the shoe. I can't make this up, bro. I paid less than half of the shoe. So I bought these for $320. Uh, the DS pairs are going for $650. And, I, and like I said, I got them for less than half. This is why I'm really big on not really wanting to buy dead stock shoes all the time. But I do know some people out there who just can't rock with wearing shoes that other people wore. And I really want to let y'all know, like, I'm not saying this to be funny. It's nothing wrong with that. But just me personally, I'm going to wear these. I'm probably gonna wear them today. Probably gonna wear them tomorrow. I'm gonna wear them. So it don't matter if somebody got the wore these once time or two times. Bro, it knocked off $350. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that deep to me, honestly. Well, actually, it knocked off $330, if we wanna be exact. But somebody wearing these once or twice, no toe creasing, like, no nothing, bro. Nothing. It knocked off $330. Why on God's green earth would I pay an extra? $320 for that or the box and that's another reason like if y'all see me trade my Jordans or my sneakers for the car fours I had to tell the owners like I don't keep my boxes a lot of my shoes I wear and shout out to the container store they sponsor me and they send me containers boxes carry a lot of space I don't have the space to hold boxes where I live in an apartment so I don't have four or five closets just to hide boxes. So I don't keep them if I plan on not selling them. And I don't sell 98% of my shoes. So I don't really care that these don't have a box because if these came with a box, I would throw the box away to make space because I wouldn't keep it. So it, that doesn't hurt me either. Back to how it works. I'm sorry for getting off track, but like I said, you find a sneaker that you want, of course you pay for it. You can even pay for it in, in settlements if you want. If you don't have all the cash, you can pay for it uh, bits and pieces. I do have friends that has bought stuff from GOAT and they've bought, you know, took out a loan, they pay $100, $30 a month. Whatever they set up with you is what you can agree to pay upon so you don't even have to pay the full balance up front. Another thing I like is if they have a pair that's already been authenticated and it's already at the store, you can pay a little bit of convenience fee for them to be able to send you that shoe ASAP because the only bad thing about buying any sneaker from any third party companies is it does take a while to get to you because they have to legit check the shoe and authenticate it. Now it was worth the wait, in my opinion. Like this probably took me almost two weeks to get, okay? Almost, almost, probably like 11 days. But I'm satisfied in knowing that, you know, it comes with this, right? It's like this braid paper, I would say. And everything that's supposed to be legit is on here is legit. Everything that got like a little hole punch on here, from quality control to authentication, making sure that this shoe matches whatever the seller says in the description. But I also said, if you don't want to wait that long, if they do have the sneaker inside of the GOAT facility already, you can just pay that convenience fee and you can get it faster than me. And I'm pretty sure it depends on where you live at. I live in Atlanta, so you know I, I think it all goes into it. But that was pretty much my experience using the Go app. It was a great experience. I do plan on buying a lot more sneakers and giving y'all a lot more sneaker reviews from the app. So once again, this video is not sponsored. They didn't ask me to do this. I just took it upon myself to find a pair of sneakers I was looking for and it came with a great price. And hey, I'm happy, I'm excited. You know, so I got my Nike Dunk SB Crawfish and it's lit. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Tell me what do you think about buying used shoes in the comment section. I mean, hopefully I, I made some sense of my purchase and hopefully, you know, I, 
if you guys were on a line about, you know, buying you sneakers, hopefully it helped. And if you still feel like, you know, you don't want to, there's nothing wrong with that either. You know, it's just preference at the end of the day. Until next time, man, I will catch up with y'all. It is your boy, Sniper Jones. You know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous, but we're really putting in that work, though. Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.